her hair. Um, I don't know where Kira and Jordan are. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> That's fair. Yay! <laughs> How did we get here? Because it's awesome campaign. It is. It it's is. pretty fucking good. It's been fun. I look forward to this every week. Yeah, yeah man, just, you're new. Did you just dye it? I lightened it again. I'm gonna. It looks I fucking have, great. I have another round to do on the roots, yeah. but Captain then I'm gonna Marvel. put some purple in it to Ooh. really. Ooh. You're gonna it up. look like Davina. If she got an undercut. <laughs> wow, David. David. <laughs> there are some who call me Tim. <laughs> Dave. Oh, wow. Oh! Thanks, Josh! Hey. Uh-oh. You had the same issue earlier, yesterday. Well, Friday. speak hello it's really hard not to break out in a drinking song right now don't do it <laughs> oh there we go Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. All right. Test, test, test. Check. Mike, check. No. Syphilis. Syphilis. Prestige syphilis. worldwide. <laughs> the skeleton took a shower. The skeleton ran out of shampoo in the shower. <laughs> the human torch was denied a bank loan. <laughs> What is that from? <laughs> I, I will give advantage to whoever knows what movie that came from. Anchorman. Anchorman. Oh, you, I, you took the words right out of my mouth, Jordy. You're too quick for me. All right, all right, Jordan. <laughs> New York. All right. How now, brown cow? All right, Jordan. Your next role, whatever it may be, you get advantage on it. Bitching. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to start over here, because my mic's been muted for some reason. So, hey, everyone, welcome back to a next exciting episode of The Song of the Wilds, episode 53. I'm Evan, Dungeon Master, useless schmucks. Um, don't know how we've gotten this far. <laughs> I like how you're going through all the beats. Because, <laughs> dude, I've been doing this for so long, yeah, man. It's like every time you say useless schmucks and how did we get here. So, <laughs> yeah, how did we get here? Episode 53. Oh, my God. How did we get this far? Okay, so before we get started. Oh, right. Um, so, unfortunately, like for the past couple weeks, we've been playing both campaigns a week. We will once again be returning to a single campaign a week 
uh, setup, uh, mostly due to Carly's changing schedule and what will soon be my new schedule. Yeah. Uh, because I will. Okay. It, nothing is confirmed yet, but I hopefully will be getting a new job soon. It's confirmed. I'm not gonna change anything until I get that offer. Because until that time, anything can happen. I'm not taking That's chances. That's fair. That's solid point. Um, but yes, so just a heads up. The, uh, next week will be Great Poison. And then the week after will be Song of the Wilds. And then we're just going to alternate. Song of the Wilds. What did I say? Song of the Wilds. Song of the Wilds. <laughs> That's the porno parody <laughs> of Song of the Wilds. Poor Eden. Anorax gets the biggest, messiest nope. mustache. Oh, oh, oh. oh I, I, I thought, thought that you was going to go in a very different completely. direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the biggest, messiest, messiest like no mustache. I mean, we already have an episode, like, I think it was episode oh, four, just... where the banner picture was Casting Couch. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you are. And now apparently, that. it's made her. It's made its way into my other character in the Great Poison's room, Reva's character, because apparently now, now that's canon based on what Liam said on Friday. He goes, and for some reason, it's black and ha as um, black and made out of what? What is it? Black leather. and made out of. Thank yeah. you, leather. Words are hard for me today. I don't know why. To make for a fun session. <laughs> <laughs> Josh says Beast Master becomes BDSM Master. No, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh man. He, so, he, he will fuck you, yeah. Nord. <laughs> oh, it's a K. It's a Hi, buddy. It's an adorable orange floof. She's oh. like, why did you pick me up? I My baby! Asleep. Look at how fluffy she is, though. Carly, look away. No! <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'm tired. I can't go out there now. <laughs> I can't be bothered. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, as always, before we get started, does anyone have any announcements? I actually have an announcement first. Uh, okay. Screen on my phone shattered. Oh, no. It was very upsetting. I was there. Oh, I hate when that happens. And unfortunately, Lockport is a freaking dead zone with phone mm -hmm. repair places. And any places that would have been open today cost like 130 bucks for just for a screen repair. Ooh. I have some other prospects. I'm going to call them tomorrow and see what their quotes are. Uh, worst case scenario, I either have to wait two weeks to fix the screen or I'm getting a new phone. Yeah, yeah. that's usually how it is. All right. Uh, that's all I got. Carly, you had an announcement? Yeah! I got a new job! Yeah! <laughs> and now my schedule is going to be a whole lot, like, more consistent because I am going to be a logistics coordinator executive for a company called TQL. It's pretty freaking sweet. They are growing rapidly. And yeah, I'm super excited because I get to leave work every day at four o'clock, which Jeez. is fantastic. Um, other than that, um, that's all I got really. And I'm super excited about it. Hopefully Evan will be working there soon too because he just had his second interview the other day. <laughs> All right. Does anyone have? Does anyone else have any announcements before we begin? I hardly ever have any, so there you go. All right. Uh, I'd like to announce that David Ashby is actually the best Spider-Man. Going back to an earlier David conversation, Ashby. they got. I actually yeah. don't know that one. But how did he not show up? up? Why? I know, how can right? Go, we're go we're getting Kelly extremely close. To oh my god! The spoilers. <laughs> yeah. No spoilers. Where where was uh where was where was Morgan Freeman? He's he's hung out with Spider Man. Wait, hold on. Oh wait, I'm thinking Hungarian Spider Man, not Italian. What? Oh. Haven't, you, <laughs> haven't you ever yeah. seen? Haven't you ever seen the GIF of like the guy with the Danny Sexbang hair? Like opens the door and he's like. And like the camera zooms in on his face. Yeah. 
Yeah, Liam knows. Yeah, there's been a lot of bootleg Spider-Man stuff because at one time it's it's hard to remember nowadays because there's so many famous superheroes now, but he was like the only superhero in the like the the popular conscience, honestly. So <laughs> Uh, does anyone else have any announcements before we begin? Are we are we missing people? Is this everyone? No. We're missing Josh, but I don't even know if he would be a part of this episode since. Nope. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah. Be. I don't know. I, just I don't got, think I just... we are. Just two people's cameras are off. Yeah, it's yeah. probably because there's so many cameras off right now. <laughs> oh my God! Patrick Angel just subscribed. Oh my gosh! Yay. Is that Patrick? No, it's Liz. your love. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, patchwork. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said. Patrick I thought you said too. Patrick. I, I was like, I thought that no, too. Pat oh my god, is that Patrick, your love Patrick, of your life? <laughs> Patrick is Komodo eighty nine. Patchwork. Oh god. Patchwork you. Angel is my is my FF fourteen love, Liz. Yep, and we love mm. you, Boo. And She's she, also and, part of Evan's uh, tag called Archivist. I and we she, love you, Boo Boo. And she says a uh, muffled shouting of nerds in the distance. Oh, in go there. drink a white claw, Liz. Oh, shit! <laughs> Shots fucking fire! L Liz, are you going to fucking take that? Oh, you better not, Boo. She you says I already did. I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh, man. Um, last Liz is actually going to be one of my bridesmaids in my wedding. Because I love her. Uh, last call. Are there any other announcements before we get started? Oh, I guess I would say, um, so starting sometime in the new year, um, I'm actually going to be DMing a campaign where Yay! Evan will be one of my player, one of my regular players, <laughs> as well as Carly being one of our part-time players. And I am because super I honestly don't for... think I can do four full campaigns. <laughs> it will be a very like probably like one session a month, maybe two sessions a month. We'll see how busy everybody is because yeah, m all of us are in like two or three campaigns already, so. <laughs> but I'm excited for that. So that'll be some starting sometime in the new year. Nice. All right. Cannot wait. I'm excited to be my Southern archivist character or not an archivist, archivist. What is that? Ar Artificer. There we go. And I, <laughs> and I can't wait to be a band member of KISS. I'm so excited um, I am so that. excited for that. <laughs> for you don't that. even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, if that is all, then let us commence with The Song of the Wilds, Chapter 53, Hunter and Hunted. My screen went blank. Oh, there. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's back. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, 53 episodes in. Something like that finally happened. Yeah. Oh, back when we would do this on Discord, people would get disconnected left and right. This oh, my is God. It was kind of terrible. Here. I miss yep. doing all the Fs in the chats, honestly, but that became <laughs> that became more of a hassle than it needed. Okay. I am. Okay, starting over. Sorry about that. Where we last left off our intrepid group of... Let me turn this down more. <laughs> there we go. Where we Quality last... entertainment, folks. Where we last left off our intrepid group of hunter-warriors, simply known as... D... Yeah. Big Dick Energy! <laughs> Simply known as Dick. <laughs> Dick. Dick. Oh my god, what is wrong with us? What about these nuts? Okay, everyone, let me do the intro. Jeez. I'm so sorry. I, I'm getting like intro blue balls here. Stop. Ugh. <laughs> uh. By the way, Izzy, your cat ears are adorable. Agreed. Typical. What do you mean typical? That she's adorable. It's Izzy. That's true. 
That's what I'm all saying. Right. Do you do you guys know that we all like have that one friend that makes us really angry because they're so pretty? It's Izzy. That's how I feel about Izzy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about me for a moment. Yeah, I, I was gonna. I, I mean, we all. I mean, we joke. all know I'd smoke all <laughs> hey, of you. Hey, hey, hey! You get oh, your cute right. ass back here. Get that face man. back in here. Get your fat ass. Back get your fat here. ass back here because before I, before I fucking say something about how you didn't share my post yesterday when I like <laughs> was saying how much I fucking missed you. Who said that? What? Who said that? You. Me. <laughs> Pam. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And now, Izzy, you look like the shame nun from Game of Thrones. So where were we, Evan? Where were we? Yes, indeed. God, it's it's been a while. Um, okay. Wow. So we last left off our intrepid group of hunter warriors known as D's Nuts. Um, <laughs> they, they continue the hunt for the herd of, I hope I pronounce this right, the Rugen which are an entire pack... Yeah, David, you know, we're, we'll go... We'll just go with that. Um, Rugen are basically monstrous carnivorous horses with claws on their hooves and large lion-like fangs. Our team of hunter-warriors was able to take out a few members of the herd. However, they were soon met with a massive deep fog that enshrouded the entire area, where they then realized that the giant Rugen which appears to be the leader of the hood, the hood, the herd. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, man? I'm a Rugen. I don't want these, these nuts in the Rugen's hood. with attitude. That's, it's not good for anybody. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? Um, it's when they later learn that the giant Rugen was in fact the matriarch mother of all of the smaller ones and has now just discovered that some of its brood has been slaughtered by Group D. As to how it exactly it well, bleh, as to how exactly it will respond to this, that, dear viewers, is where we come back. So. So. Group D and special guest star Og the Goblin, who is a little bit more mysterious than we've all initially thought of him. I love Og. You find yourselves hiding within the fog or the mist and hiding behind some trees and bushes where you see the herd of Rugen being addressed by the overly massive one, which is the mother of of the entire herd, and it realizes that some of its brood has been killed. It lets out a massive howling roar into the air, and you all get a feeling of dread that kind that climbs down your spines, and you realize that you guys may not be the hunters anymore. Group D, what do you do? Run away. Uh, so, hold on. Og I, runs I, away. Are we all still split up? No, you all came oh, together. I didn't think so. I thought we did. All right. So, uh, I got a question for everyone. I kind of, like, I whisper. Hey, guys. So, what do you, what do you think if I just, if I just go, just, like, ask her a couple questions? Should I just go and, uh, you know, see if she doesn't mind, like, not bothering Anyone anymore? <laughs> uh, uh, Mistral, I would, Mistral, I would like you to make an athletics saving throw. Oh boy. <laughs> With disadvantage because everything is obscured by mist. Oh boy. God. Okay, give me one moment. Let me roll my die. My die has been rolled. Oh, oh, baby. Ooh. I got a, a, a nat 20, which is like, what you With said. Disadvantage? With disadvantage. disadvantage. Let's see if I roll two of them. Oh, boy. Oh, you know, that's fine. It's still fine. What did you roll? Let, let, oh, that's, let, me, let me add. I'm adding. 
What did you say? Acrobatics? What is athletics? Athletics saving. Oh, that's throw. only one point. That's only one one point different. Saving throw. Oh, baby, that's a twenty-three. Wow. Wait, so you got a what? I got a twenty, and then I got a nineteen. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. The cat, okay. cat ears are bringing me luck today. Yeah, and they I are. On my bed. Holy okay. shit. Okay. As you, as you step forward, as you attempt to make an approach toward the the herd of Rulgan, as well as their mother, you hear a whoop right behind you. And to everyone else, you see the faint green glow of the owl bear that has just launched itself out of Eden's backpack and onto the ground behind Mistral. And you just and Mistral, you see the owl bear behind you just going like. Oh, you don't want me. You don't want me to go over there. Are you sure? Do you want to come with me? Is that what you're saying? You know, I rolled a nineteen. Did you say Susie well. fell in the well? <laughs> you're trying to reach me about my car's extended warranty. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and that's how you end up in the well. Well, okay, okay. Um, where, where, where do you think I? What do you think we should do that? I, I just thought it would, you know, talking. I heard communication is the best thing, you know. At that, at that moment, upon asking that, the owl bear like hobbles over to you, grabs the bottom of your top within its beak, and just starts dragging you back to the group. <laughs> Davina just looks at Mistral and goes, "Yeah, I don't think talking is gonna help here." Okay, you know, I was trying something. Okay, I, I know. I, I'm well aware. Wait, wait, okay, <laughs> Divina, Divina, fine. You take charge. You tell us what to do. Okay, uh, I need to pause the campaign. Izzy, I for, love you. I need, to, I need to pause this because, David, I'm breaking character for a moment because, David, I just have to express, you just gave me an idea for a new character I'm going to make who is basically oh, Wily Coyote. I just need someone who talks in signs. Oh my god, please! <laughs> and he's an artificer, wait, and it's all wait, like wait, Acme wait, technology. Wait, what does your sign say? I couldn't even know. It this said run away. Run, oh, run away. Run away. It, no, or, it's like the owl bear comes shaking his head. What does that say? I can't see that. This is a terrible idea, but can I it, go up to mm. it trying to at least calm it calm i mean i know izzy no, just like tried it. it you didn't want me to go like, and... uh, <laughs> i don't, I don't know i don't want to make the first blow okay i will okay, if so... i have to but i don't want to do it but like here's the thing should we be hovering should we be leaving i mean the owlbear club was shaking his head a lot their head i should say i don't know do we know what sex or a little out whatever that doesn't matter um do should they <laughs> should we be hovering? I, I don't Those know. I'm gonna look at Polo and be like, "You're the idea guy. What do you think we should do?" Um, is anyone sorry? What what are these things again? I'm still not entirely okay, sure. I get so, it. So horse lions. They're they're horse lions. They're carnivorous horses with claws on their hooves and you got a bunch of them that are basically the size of Clydesdales and then Yo! you have oh he's a good boy he's the one that let me pet him when I was over <laughs> and es essentially you got you got your normal Rugen which is about the size of a Clydesdale horse which is still pretty big and, and then, then the you and, and then you have the mama who's about as tall as a giraffe like a full-grown giraffe. Wow. Polo. Polo. Do you think I could ride it? How big is your animal handling? <laughs> How big, big enough. is my animal, animal handling? Okay. In this world, literally every animal has been trying to kill you. I'm sorry, but what Arios makes you is think on... Here like, what makes you think on God's green earth about. animal handling is going to work? Well, I, I have, have a plus six. Oh, I have a four. Don't suppose any of you can speak to animals. Um, that's a question that has been asked. Good no, job. I don't think so. Um, Ariel's is, is seriously just kind of sitting here like this. 
Arios, you can only transform into people, right? No. You could transform oh! into a oh! horse. I can't go that big. No, but I could help you, could, you with that. You, you could, could transform right into a baby. Oh. Uh, the the owlbear looks at looks at the goblin like, huh? I, it's a it's a common spell, polymorph. <laughs> Arios is just sitting here like, these are nuts. Why are we trying to talk <laughs> to the animal? Animals always try to kill us. What are we trying to accomplish here, anyway? I'm very confused. We're trying to kill them. As the fox says count. we have to kill them. Why are we trying to talk to them? You're the one that has deaf scythe. Why can't we just use that? Because it, it's not exactly the best weapon. Why do we need to kill these things? Because they they're destroying evil. everything. Hey, Evan, can I get a head count on how many creatures we see, like, total? Okay, so you guys have so far killed three of them. Or no, you killed four of them, I believe. So there are six Rulgan left, and then there's the mother. So there's a grand total of seven. Okay. And right now, all seven are there. Mm. We tried asking the owlbear. That's, yeah. Eden, it's all you, my man. <laughs> my man. I mean, we, we are just trying to kill them. We could lure a few of them away. God, I don't like, want to do this. Fuck it. Evan, can I just take baby. one of my javelins and just throw it at the mama? Okay. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh. Okay. I'll just stand. Aug 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 off his tunic. The moment we've ever had in this campaign. <laughs> and there's so a uh, novelty t-shirt underneath his tunic that says, I'm with stupid, and a magical <laughs> arrow that just points to Davina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Oh, shit, I don't have my javelin anymore. Never mind. I can't even do it. <laughs> I think I that guy. Oh, all right. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> As you guys are discussing this, you hear a monstrous bellowing screech as the mother lets out another call. All And you see the faint outlines of all the other Rulgan. They all seem to just kind of like, kind of do that, like that deer thing where they just, where they like put a leg out and then they just kind of bow for a moment. And it's like in perfect unison. You see all six Rugen scatter. Oh no. Whereas the mother just simply fades from view. Like oh, it, like within the mist. Oh. Back to the runaway strategy. Where we parked the airship? Uh you all parked the airship outside of the forest itself. Um uh, in the in the initial area where you first entered this area which was already like trampled and burned. Okay, hear me out. I think that we should go back to the airship, take off, and nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. <laughs> First off, love the aliens reference. I don't have any spells that big. Sorry. Um... Did, I guess we didn't see which way the smaller Rugen were going. Uh, actually you did. Yeah. <laughs> Um, basically, there were six of them. Uh, ba uh, and essentially, two went to the east, two went to the west, and two went north. You guys were south of everything right now. Wow. So which way, which I, direction do we want to take? Lit up again. I think that um, probably standing still is the worst thing we could do right now. I think we're being hunted. Can I do like a perception check and see if I see any like horses or Rugen around us? Uh, you can, but it is going to be with disadvantage because of the that mist. figured. Yeah. Damn, because that was a nat 20. That's upsetting. I got a 12. Damn. Um, I know. <laughs> all, all you were able to see was just the general direction of where they went. Uh, but that's really Great. it. 
So I... Sorry, Leah. <laughs> oh, no, you are you were talking first. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> so I do realize that Arios does have speak with animals. But we'll put a pin in that one. Oh, no. That's funny. We'll put a pin in that one. Well, we either go east, west, or north. Where do we want to go? And Mama's right in smack dab in the middle, isn't she? Well, you saw. Well, you saw yeah, the image of the mom vanish. Oh, she went right. Okay. Does no one listen to me? Your no, DM. I heard you. I heard you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. I um, I I don't honestly. Og does not like you know, being from a um a species that is mostly prey. Um, does not like standing around talking. Um, so I, I think Arg is going to put up a little bit of a defense um, and cast Wall of Stone to encircle the party so that we're at least protected from attack while we sit here and talk. Okay. Oh, that's impressive. Good idea. Um, probably. I suppose we should do something. All right, we're going east. I made the decision. We're going east. <laughs> I'm sick of waiting around for you all, so we're going east. All right, Og, <laughs> put it down. You can spend all that time putting it up. Poor Og. No, that's fine. <laughs> I do not like being eaten. How tall is this wall? DM, the party is going east, and that's final. All it's right. It's about all right. Get it take charge, folks. Standard <laughs> east-west german size wall. Yes, Daddy. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, Arios is his main squeeze. <laughs> I will allow this. Oh. <laughs> Very strange episode. What just happened? <laughs> Anywho, so you all head east as a collected party. There is no splitting of said party. I would like everyone to make perception checks with disadvantage. Except Adarax, who gets a straight roll. Because you I have advantage, because you. you guessed the movie. So you just do a straight roll. Still gonna fuck it up. You said perception? I'm gonna get a one. Shut up. Yeah, perception. I got an 11. Oh my god, that two, you jinxed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I got a six. Dang it, that would be an eight. I got an eight, too. Of course, the next roll that I bumped is great. I got a 23. I got a 14. Wow, Mistral. Kick it ass. I know, right? I rolled a 19 and then a 20. I don't know what's up with Google Dice Actually, today, but they're being nice. Nice dice. All right, so who all rolled above a 10? I rolled a 23. Mistral and Eden. And you can't Mistral, Polo. Eden, Og, and Polo. All right. You guys are actually able to get a general sense of where the east, of where the eastward Rugen have gone. Right. You can t So essentially, you guys are running the front of the party. As you guys, <laughs> as you guys continue <laughs> your traveling, following the path, seeing all the clues. Something does catch your eye, especially Og, in this case. Now, uh, now Og. Not you, a stick, is it? It's not a stick, but it is made out of wood. Okay. W what you see, it, it's very odd, and it seems especially out of place in this kind of untamed forest. You see, essentially nailed on the side of a tree, and like hanging by a piece of rope, a wooden sign. Seems important. I'm gonna stop and read it. Why do we have Lion King music? I know, I <laughs> love it. Hold on, let me uh, go. Guys, there's a sign. Are, um, we, are we able to read the sign? Is it in a language that we are able to read? Uh, who here knows how to read Goblin? Um, you well, know, so close. It's almost like it was made for you to be here. <laughs> don't, don't look too far into it. <laughs> don't worry about it, baby. Uh, 
Uh, do you know what the sign says? Yes. Are you actually going to tell us? <laughs> I don't know. What does the sign say, Evan? All right. Uh, it what? takes you a moment to kind of get closer to it because the mist is still kind of obscuring your vision. But it seems to say servant's entrance. Servant's Ser entrance. Servant's entrance. And you, and hmm. by the way, Og, um, because now you, you yourself are standing right next to the tree that the sign is connected to, I would like you to roll me one perception check, but this one's going to be a straight roll, no disadvantage, due to you being just standing very close to it. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 16. All right. Uh, you notice that there seems to be an entire patch of, of bark on this tree just beneath the sign, and it seems a little like a different shade of brown than the rest of the tree. And it seems sure. to be like an entire large patch of it. And it's about, it's it's kind of like your height, maybe a little bit higher. But yet, it's, it just seems odd. It just seems like someone just took a piece of, like a large patch of bark and just put it right here without really meaning to see if it actually was the same kind of wood. <laughs> All right. I think it's a door. I'm going to look for a handle. Uh, you do not see a handle. All right, I'll just start tugging on the bark then. Uh, you do feel it actually kind of give a bit. Uh, roll me a strength check. Oh, crap. Of course it would be strength. But... Oh, that's actually not too bad. Uh, let's do a 14. Uh, 14? Yeah. Uh, as you basically take your little goblin claws and you, like, wedge them into the side of this you just slowly start to pull and everyone you are seeing og here pull off an entire large patch of tree bark and behind it is basically a hole hmm. that's interesting og what is that um it's a hole in a tree <laughs> You know, I'm, like, I'm going to let weird? Og have that one because I can't expect him to know what's in the hole immediately. <laughs> can I, can I, I have a good idea. Stick? Let's hide in here. What, all of us? Wait, wait, wait. Ari <laughs> Leo was going to say something. I would like Ariel's to... Is it dark in the hole? It is quite dark. Can I grab a stick, cast light on it, and throw it in there you go oh. i mean we'd rather not go in there and have something attack us once we get inside i mean i could probably Literally. see in there anyway right yeah you do got light or, or dark vision can i just look I down there real quick dark vision too. uh yeah arios you can. can still do what he wants to do i just i can check first in case arios hits something but look up smart. when you get in not down look up look up look okay up. the tree all right, so what do I do? The tree. Well, are you going to look up or down? I look up, I guess. You see a rope with many knots. Okay. Um, I was like nooses? No, not nooses. <laughs> okay. First off, Like geez. the gym climbing rope? Yeah, it's like... Well, you it's said it was like servants, you know, whatever. It's like, it's a, it's like, like hanging servants. Servants have, have those... That's me. <laughs> we have tiny, frail little arms. We're not good at climbing, okay? It's a it's a gym climbing rope with many many knots. Okay. Um, who uh, who is that? Who has good arm strength? Anybody want to climb on up? Well, a couple of us can fly. Sure, I mean, but I... that's not as impressive when there's a rope here. I can climb. Who took oh. PE as a character? <laughs> I'm the I'm the barbarian. Go. I, am, I am strong woman. Oh. You, uh, Davina, uh, Davina, you can also fly. <laughs> but is it, but, is it but big enough for her to be able to fly? Right, though, like it's Over not as a, it's not as impressive if I climb the tree. Yeah, <laughs> that's like cheating on a test. There's a rope. You can climb it. maybe. Well, okay, maybe there's like you're, a you're, you're, you're you pull on the rope. The more you climb, the more the door Hold opens at the is top. He, I don't know. I got, I got this girl, and uh -huh. and if I and if I can't climb it, I have a contingency plan. Right, but there, <laughs> there is a question that I think needs to be answered. How wide is this? That's um, a solid point. It, it is a pretty darn thick, tall maple tree. 
If so, Davina wanted to fly, could she? I guess is what I'm asking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not okay, in the right. tree, but definitely, okay. like, outside of it. All right. And I swear, if you guys spend all session debating about, like, the safety and parameters of a rope, I am going to burn you all. You know what? Okay. Right. I'm taking advantage. I'm taking, like, I I'm taking initiative again. I'm going to I'm gonna jump on one of the ropes, because I can still see in there anyway. Well, okay. I don't know. Do we think the rope is safe enough? I'm gonna find out. If Dude, I if it's not, out. Davina can come and save me. Whatever. Don't don't stand under him. God or Adarax. I, I don't care at this point. It's or fine. Or Adarax, God of Two. I really yeah. don't care. Just as long as somebody saves him. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on one of the ropes and try to hang on. All right, uh, Adarax. Um, you grip onto the rope. Roll me a strength check. Not a saving throw, right? Not a saving throw. Oh, I thought throw. I was check. climbing. Oh, well. Okay, are you... Okay, so many you... people are talking right now, and I honestly did not know what was going on. So, Polo is grabbing a rope. Davina, are you grabbing a rope, or are you flying? Oh, I mean, I can fly if... Yeah, like, I'm chill, whatever. Okay, please choose. Right. I will. I will fly. Okay. I apologize for the miscommunication. Okay. I, was, right. I was, was gonna... There was no miscommunication. There was just way too many people talking at the same time, and I honestly did not know if anything, if anyone had a solidified idea of what they're doing. I was hearing a yeah. lot of back and forth. I apologize. That, I will fly. Okay. I'm doing a strength check. Okay. I got a 17. All right. Uh, Davina and Polo, you guys basically are the main scout team. Uh, Polo, you are scaling this rope with like arms only. Like you're basically going up like Wesley and Princess Bride and Princess Bride, like up the cliffs. Where it's just it's just pure arm strength, and you are just blasting your traps right now. I wish I could do that. <laughs> um, Davina, you are taking the some would say the smarter decision, and you're just like not wasting time. You're just flying up. As you fly up, uh, by the way, Polo, uh, you can see like perfectly mm -hmm. well because you have dark vision, and this this rope, as far as you can tell, seems to possibly go all the way up to the top. All right, uh, cool. Davina, you because you're flying, you easily get up to the top first. Now, Davina, I would like you to make a perception check. Cool, I totally can. Oh, no. I got a natural one. She's like, Polo, I'm scared. Hold me. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Davina. <laughs> as you slam you, into a wall. <laughs> as, you, as you whip your head around, trying to get a lay of the treetops... You you're, you fly right into a branch. Yup, sounds about right. And it gets you right in the face. Like, it's just like, Ow! whack! <laughs> just right in the face. Ow! Polo, oh! Polo, as you get to the top of the rope, you see a tiny sliver of light on the other side of the inside tree walls all around you. And you think it might be another one of these bark patches that Og found. And also at outside of the patch, you just hear, Ah, oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> you all right, Davina? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I uh, open up my hands. Do I have, like, a huge, like, just, like, I can, like, cut on uh, my face? You don't have a cut, but you do okay, have, like, I'm a pretty sure bad that. red mark on your face. I'm fine with I was going to say, she's taking harder hits than that. Yeah. If, so, if, if anything, it's more humiliating than than actually <laughs> damaging. <laughs> uh, we fought so gods. Polo. I doubt a tree is going to, you know. Polo. Is it bad? Polo, you uh. can't see. You haven't opened up the bark patch <laughs> yet. Oh. oh. My bad. I thought he did. Uh, should I do that? Yeah, sure. So Polo okay. opens up the patch, and you are met with, it's still quite misty, but it is a little brighter up here. Um, yeah, and yeah, you see Davina sitting on a thick, on the thick tree branch, just kind of like holding her face like, ah, 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 fought the giant chicken, didn't you? <laughs> no, no, man, 
yeah, it's fine. You'll probably never see him again. <laughs> Daddy's one big cock. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, I hate you all. <laughs> you look fine. You're still a lovely shade of purple. Anyway, Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. Just a little brighter. Now, now, Polo, now that you're up here, I would like you to roll me a perception check. All right. Perception, perception, perception. There we go. That is a six. All right. You can't really quite make out through the mist that it's uh, the mist is a little lighter up here, but not by a lot. But you do see very strange shapes that seem to be hanging on the treetop branches. Like, just past your vision. You can't quite make it out because of all the mist, but something weird is hanging from the branches. They look kind of like... Almost like domes? Hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone else is down on the forest floor, by the way, I would like to add. I was going to say, if Polo says something, Arios could cast Gust to get rid of the mist so Polo can see more clearly. I mean, Davina could probably say something about it, too. But I'm chill with whatever. I was going to say, does she see it from the outside, though? Oh, that's a solid point. Touche. Right. So what are you guys doing? Well, I think that's a smart idea. So Polo, go for it. Okay, sorry. What am I doing, exactly? Just mentioning that there's something up there, because... Okay, yeah. No, I, I mentioned that I, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> all right so arios you get the message that something very well might be up in the treetops yep so arios casts gust up into the into the tree but only he, he casts it at a light because he doesn't want to blow polo all around the place so <laughs> okay so so polo <laughs> Uh, Arios's gust spell seems to definitely disperse most of the mist, not all of it, and you can kind of see the shapes a little bit better. I'd like you to make another perception check with advantage. Alright. With advantage, I, I want to reiterate. Right. 11. Alright. The good news is you just barely make it with this DC. You see... Now that the mist has lightened up quite a bit, those weird dome shapes are huts. Okay. Like like actual like actual little habitable huts. And you can kind of see what looks like long rope bridges that seem to uh, So this is like an Ewok all. village kind of thing? It, yeah, it's like an Ewok village. Alright, alright, alright. Um well, I guess all we can do is go see if any of that place is, is inhabited and go find these huts and see if there's anyone in there. All right, do you tell everyone that? Yes. Okay. Everyone that's still on the forest floor, you basically hear Polo yell down to it that there is quite possibly a village up here in the treetops. Which is probably a village that keeps itself away from the um, the Guggenheim. I forget what they're called. I don't know. The Rugen. Rugen. Okay, yeah, that's it. So wait, Evan, does Davina see this too? Yes. Okay, cool. I was not sure. But so then, Og, Mistral, Arios, Atarax, and Eden. How do you guys respond to this? Because you basically were just told that there's a village up here. Hmm. Yeah, uh, whatever you do, don't say, oh, I need to put the door back, so I'm going to put the door back after right. saying that. Okay, you put the door back. So so don't, don't say, say... I, I need to put the door back? Is that what you're trying to say? Or No, 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 no. I just told you not to say something, and then I realized I didn't put the door back. So that's all. Just don't say what I told you not to say, and you're fine. What did he tell us not to say? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I hate you. <laughs> oh. I know what I will say. Kill the kill him first. 
Okay, uh, who wants who wants to go climbing? Can I get a ride? I like how it was Mistral who said that. Can I, um, can I, like, try and fly down and, like, pick up the people that can't fly up here? Because I I know Adarax can do that as well. Hold, hold on, can I, can I, can I, it, can I roll to see, so Mistral has whatever on. Like, can I summon oh. a spider to carry me up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I want have... my spider simps. I, I want to roll to see if Michelle can use the rope, but only uses her arms. <laughs> so just full on, only using arms, not losing her legs to pull herself up the rope. It's just full on arm strength, just going. <laughs> she, like, she like rips off her dress or something like that. Yes. And, and Michelle's got like guns. Yeah. Just she hawks it. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, Michelle. Uh, so wait, are you climbing up the rope or the side of the tree? Uh, the rope. Okay. Okay, Come so Og, slam. unfortunately, you put the door back. Mistral just ripped it right off again to go climb the rope herself. Uh, Mistral, Meanwhile, well, Polo is just watching this like, what the hell And is so is Davina. On? Davina's like, what? What is she doing? Uh, I, cannot, I, I look over at Davina and I say, I can never get a read on her. <laughs> Uh, Mistral, I'd like you to roll me a strength check. Just, just a strength? Just strength. Oh, okay. You heard me. Um, I got a 16. <laughs> All right, you are able to make it. Yeah, surprisingly, the dainty elf princess girl is able to effortlessly just scale this rope knot, and you just hear... <laughs> you Polo... Like everyone, like Polo and Davina up at the top hole, and everyone else down at the bottom hole, you just hear. Uh, 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 Wait a minute, what? What is she wearing? A dress. A dress. Yeah. Og will step into the tree and enjoy the view. That's oh, God. <laughs> God. All right. I cast oh. darkness. <laughs> Nasty ass man. Who said I was only wearing a dress? Who not, you don't know what you don't know if I am. You know what? That's a solid point. She was I, when we first met her, but how I we know her know outfit now. hasn't changed. Og, you lie down on your back with your head face up, looking right up the passage of the tree, and you see that under her dress she's wearing Spanx. Nice. Nice. He's so good. It'd be funny since he's laying down. It'd be funny if like a jam jar like fell out of my bag and just goes oh, straight no. <laughs> in the fucking face. I was wholeheartedly hoping you would fail that roll so I could rush in to try to catch you. But sure. Good luck with that. She's bigger than I am. <laughs> I know. But no, apparently Mistral's Mistral's been Mistral's been getting swole off. She's camera. been she she hasn't been skipping arm day. It's all the jam. Yeah. All the all the rock Too collecting. Will we ever see that strange ja drow jam goddess again? Who <laughs> It's what do you mean, who knows? Place? You're the DM. <laughs> Dude, you think I planned any of this? <laughs> you think I planned a drow jam goddess? Seriously? That that stuff isn't planned. That <laughs> shit just happens. Uh, Okay, so Arios, Atarax, and Eden, how do you guys get up? I think we're all just looking at Mistral right now. Like I know, right? Like, what the I actual should... fuck? Where, how is she doing that? I, I look over at Davina and I say, you women in this group really are full of surprises. I, I don't, I didn't even know she could do that. Yeah. Uh, Mistral, you come out of the exit onto the treetops and you, Mistral's not breaking a sweat. She's yeah. just like, ah, that was a good warm up. No, she's not even like that. She's just like, sup. 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 <laughs> No, no, full on. Just like this. This is Mistral getting up. Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got. This. <laughs> okay. So, uh, where? What did we find? <laughs> and Davina's just yeah, gonna be that's, like, "That's that's man." Bread. Uh, Mistral, you want to work out together? Well, work out. That sounds like work. What do, what do we need to work out? Is there an issue? What do we need to work out? Oh. No, no, no. You want to you want to exercise together. Exercise? What's exercise? <laughs> Never mind. <That> sounds hard. <laughs> God, she's like Frieza. Yeah. 
I know, right? <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> All right. Uh, Arios, Adarax, and Eden, how do you guys get up? Is Arios even I right? should probably go last. You can fly. Yeah, I mean, you can carry fly. Eden or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Arios can levitate, I'm pretty sure, up there, yeah? Arios can only levitate 30 Goblin. feet, so if it's more than that, uh, then he'd need somebody to Davina, carry. why Arios don't you go get your man? Okay, I was... Davina. Relax. <laughs> Fine. Davina like goes back down and says, and looks at Arius and goes, "Hey, you need a ride." <laughs> Arius, how do you answer? <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> I need a minute. Arius, <laughs> I'll take a ride from you any day. And then she just says, "Then hop in these arms." <laughs> Oh my gosh! Get a are, treat, you two. Bo both our both our women in this campaign are rocking pythons now. Apparently, so, yeah. does anyone know a veterinarian? Because these pythons are sick. Oh, all right, all right. Leah, do you do you hop into Vina's arms? Oh, oh, Arios for sure. No hesitation. Whatsoever. Fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, Ari, uh, Davina, I need you to roll me a, roll me a D4, the pyramid, okay. roll me the pyramid. Interesting oh. choice. Concern. <laughs> I got a four. All right. Uh, Arios, you are being carried bridal style as. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I was picturing in my head. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. If like three and four would have been bridal style, um, a one and a two, Davina would have carried you fireman style, like over the shoulder, <laughs> like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> That's also bridal style. That's just right before you no, get to the brain. Shush, <laughs> shush, you, shush. What is with us today? I am extremely oh. tired and exhausted. I have no filters. That's it's gonna okay. be worse tonight. Oh no. <laughs> um. All right. So all that's left is Eden and Atarax. How do you guys scale the tree? Are you gonna fucking fly or no? I mean, will my, will my wingspan fit in this tree? No. You don't you have, have to be in the tree to fly. Oh my God. I mean, if, uh, I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll, then I'll just. I yeah, mean, so... I don't want to. I don't want to take off a bunch of stuff to fly. So I'll like pop my claws out and just like climb the tree. Okay, so somehow Atarax decides to climb the outside of the tree, and he basically climbs like fucking like Disney's gargoyles on the yeah, side of the building. It's so high. And it looks like gargoyles and too. And now the wait is over, and we live again. Yes. Oh god. On a side note, if they ever made like a live-action gargoyles, Rosario Dawson has to play the detective. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she yeah. does. I was thinking Idris Elba actually would be good as a replacement Goliath, but uh, that's po true. possibly, possibly, but I don't know. No, you can't replace Keith David. Yeah, but if you had to, that's it, well, I'm yeah, thinking. if you absolutely had to, then yeah, Idris Elba all the way. Yeah, but anyway, but put some effort into getting Keith David first. Yeah. <laughs> um. Any. <laughs> all right, Eden, you're the last one. Technically, I'm not the last one, because Og, so... Oh, yeah, Og, you have yet to make an effort. What do you do? Yeah, no, he needs... I, I wait I until Eden like... starts going. I'm surprised Adorax didn't carry Eden I don't trust you, up, David, but... but I'm gonna go. As soon as Eden is a good portion up the rope, Og walks over the wall, feels around a little bit, hits a panel, opens it, steps into the elevator, the dumb waiter, and goes shit. up. Amazing. You're shit. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Shit. Hate it. All right. So, Eden, you're climbing up the rope. Meanwhile, all the rest of you that are up in the branches right now, you hear a rustling sound and then ding. And then one and then a whole separate wooden patch of bark just kind of opens up automatically and there's Og just standing right there. Oh. <laughs> Um, excuse me? What? <laughs> what? 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 
What? Can Get Polo just start going to the village, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Polo's like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sick of doing the same thing we do with ox cans. <laughs> Look, oh I didn't tell you guys how to get up there. There's an elevator. No one asked me. I hate you. I hate you so much. I love you, David. I, I just, I, I, I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> when you find information, you're supposed to share it with the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck with that. And Davina what? just looks at Ar at, at Arios and goes, "Let's just go to the village." And it just starts flying to the other trees. Did you let Arios, Arios is down? Like, I'm good with Arios. No. Is just like I'm good with how we got up here. No, I thought she was still carrying it. And okay, Davina, yeah. pick me up too, please. <laughs> Get on my back, Polo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Do I have to do an athletics check or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, all right. Because Davina, <laughs> Davina's strong enough for the both of you. So Davina's right. carrying Ario's bridal style. You're clinging onto her back like freaking Yoda. And you... <laughs> Concentrate. Whipping and rolling. Stop it. I saw a guy... I saw a guy with like a uh, with like a T-shirt at Ocean City Comic Con that was like Yoda, and it said "Seagulls, stop it now" or something like. That. Oh yeah, <laughs> Seagulls, mm, stop it now. One of their best songs that they did. Oh, absolutely. It, I think it's on Spotify. Probably. Yeah, I think it is too. I know it's on YouTube. I haven't favorited. All right. <laughs> All right. So. Polo, Davina, and Arios, you three are the vanguard in investigating the huts. Uh, you get closer to it. You see you see a hut. There's no door. Just kind of an open doorway with, like, curtains in front of it. The hut itself seems to be actually pretty well made. It's made of wood, leaves, hay. Um, it's all seemed, it all seems to be, like, earth materials here. No stone um no metal it's all just like wood all right i call out hello is anyone here there is no response um uh, all right no, i'm gonna investigate no. then and hello. see if people are hiding all right polo you are the first person to enter the hut um it it's pretty basic on the inside you see um, the hut itself is a single room, and you see what looks like a table with three chairs in the middle, what seems to be a little stone section for a fire for a hearth, which seems to be for just also keeping the place warm, but also possibly cooking food. You, you can't quite tell. That's just kind of a, that's just kind of speculation. And you see what looks like a triple bunk bed, like up against the wall. Um, you see- What are we doing, Louie? <laughs> you see a few shelves. Uh, the shelves are completely empty. In fact, you see evidence that there should be, like, things on these shelves. Things possibly should be hanging above the hearth, like cooking tools. But there's, like, little hanging hooks, but, they're, but nothing's hanging on them. So this... there's not even, like, abandoned food or anything? No, nothing's abandoned. It seems okay. like this place was picked clean. Okay. So people, I, I look over at Davina and Arios, and I'm like, if there was anybody here, they've been long gone, or maybe this, or is... knowing us, have been evaporated or something. We've maybe had weirder this... situations. Maybe this is Og's village because he did say that he was the last one left. Well, good luck finding a straight answer from him. Is he there? No. Or is he still back? Okay. I yell and I say, Og. What? <laughs> we <laughs> we need you to come over here. Okay. And Og makes his way over. Are there no like, I don't know, scorch marks or anything? Uh, anyway. no, no scorch marks. Not really much of anything. No, Divine. no signs of struggle. Uh, no sign of a struggle. Uh, pretty much all of the remaining furniture and other objects are completely intact. There doesn't seem to be any sign of damage. Uh, so it's whatsoever. like almost nobody ever lived here. 
Oh, oh no, you could you could you see how you see that people did live here. Um okay. roll Polo, roll me an investigation check. All right. Because you because you're the one who asked. Uh, well that's a nine, so that's not gonna do me much good, but now you don't know that. Uh huh. you can actually quite tell. Um you take a look at the shelves. These you do see evidence that these shelves used to have objects on them because there is a layer of dust on these shelves. However, in random spots on the shelves themselves, uh, there's not as much dust. So you get the so you get the feeling that on these lighter patches, there might have been things placed on these shelves that have since been taken. Okay, I almost want Mister over here to see if there was any jam or anything like that. Oh. Um, is Og over there yet? Og, have you yeah. have you arrived? Yeah, okay. I went over. Okay, cool. Og. I'm gonna have Davina look at him and say, "Does this village look familiar to you?" Um, yeah, but they all look familiar to me. It's a standard housing design uh, using the tree branches, so you get it structurally sound. You know, so that is there a uh, way that you would be able to tell if you lived here? Yes. Um, Where would I, that be? The table. On the underside. On the I, underside I, of what? Go over to. Is there a table in the room? I'm uh, yeah, there two. there is a long table with three chairs, um, and yeah, it's just in the middle of the room. I flipped the table like Jesus. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, Og does go over and flip the table. He's looking to see if his name is scratched in the bottom of the table. Um, Og, roll me an investigation check. No. You keep asking me to do all these hard skills that I have no proficiency in. And a... Two. <laughs> uh, What's with the dice, man? It's, it's not my dice. Next. I have no proficiency in it and a minus one intelligence modifier. Give me a break. Ooh. Oh, I, I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> Does it say I... mine written in it? <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, you do. You, you do you... see what looks like three organized scratches on the other on the underside of the table, but you can't quite tell. It's like really dark. Would I be able to tell? Uh, Davina, roll. You roll me investigation. Okay. While you do that, I'm going to see if Seagull's Stop It Now is on Spotify. I got a nat 20. Nice. Oh. You have no modifiers? Nope. Oh, okay. oh my god, Seagull Stop It Now is on Spotify. Nice. But it is Bushes of Love. Seagull. It is. I got a nat 20, Evan. Okay, so, Davina, you see scratched under the table... Trog, dog, sog. My God. God damn it. All right. Guys, this is an Og's house. Only that, that one isn't. You don't know. How do Doesn't names mean work in goblin culture? Village. It's a solid point. Next house. <laughs> We Wait, Liam, were you were you actually asking Og the naming yeah. convention of goblins? Yes. Oh. Um, short single syllable words. Uh, technically, the the first name is is generally the sound used to identify the individual goblin, and the second name is used to identify where they fall in society. For example, Srog is the goblin term for chef. Okay. So, are these last names or are they first names that we're looking at? I uh, actually I think that's a high school nickname. Don't want me to directly translate that, but it's not a name I recognize. All right. To the next house. Do we want to get everybody else over here? Uh, Mistral, Eden, Adarax, <laughs> where are you guys? You know, I was just talking um, with um, Eden over here. Just like, I did it. By the way, we have a bot in the <laughs> chat. Oh no, do we have a bot? Oh. Yeah. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Either a bot or Dean. Actually, it's me. 
Mistra coming to mess up your stream wherever I see fit. <laughs> All right, bot has been banned. Yeah, ban hammer, bam. Anyways, oh. Oh, I was like, powerful. <laughs> I was like, yo, Eden, uh, how you been? Um, uh, hi. <laughs> what are you owing <laughs> money? <laughs> no, what, Polo? Why would you say something so random? What? I think that oh, she does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway. Adorable. Anyway, um, I think I, they like found something. I don't know what they're doing over there. You wanna go see what they're doing? I mean we kinda have to. Adventure in Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, like, should we go and look where they're looking or just go look at the one next to the one they're looking at or I think we should probably like check other houses because it seems like Mm. They're not that far apart. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're doing. But... Let's, all, let's all be all sneaky. What was that? I know, right? Wow. Wow. No, Democracy at work, ladies and gentlemen. No, you missed it. All right. That was adorable. All right. So you guys are investigating the next house? Yep. All right. Uh, all of you as a collected, organized party, make your way across the rope bridge into the next hut. This hut <laughs> definitely looks a little different. You see in this one what seems to be a much larger counter space with a table with only one chair. Only one chair? Why is there only one chair? Did someone steal a chair? Like why? Don't people live on their own, Mistral. Don't judge people. Yeah, but what, hey, just because you live on your own doesn't mean you can't have guests. Okay. What if they didn't want guests? Well, some place to put your feet up. Some goblins are introverts. What the table's for. I you like know, two Aug chairs. really isn't a people person. I think you noticed that probably. I know, but I like two chairs because sometimes like, I want to sit in a different direction, but I don't want to move the chair. <laughs> I mean, You're weird. If I flip this table point. to see if there's anything written under it. Hey, no, this is my table to flip. All right. Flip it then. Flip that table like Jesus. <laughs> 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 oh man. All right, Mr. All, you flip the table. Uh you you definitely you actually do see um something stenciled onto the bottom this now the first time you saw names written on it they were like carved into the wood with a knife this one seems to be written in prestigious inked renaissance era calligraphy uh this is an elf no that's jeff His no name is jeff and we hated him no, yeah jeff know. the elf wait wait a minute wait a minute hold on hold on you hold on bye do you say this was Jeff and we hated him? Yes. How did you know him? Because we hated him. We wanted you, to avoid him. You hated him. So you did live in this village. Maybe. <laughs> Davina just like takes the table that's already been flipped and just throws it at the wall of the hut. Okay, okay. Uh, so Davina, roll me a strength check. <laughs> Venus. Well, well, like, I, I would like to like rage, to and I am out. not asking. I would like to point <laughs> out that I got a twenty-six. <laughs> Are you <laughs> amazing? <laughs> Breaks the yeah. wall. Yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> um, Davina. Oh man. Um, okay. Way to tamper this... with evidence, Davina. <laughs> Th this might be bad. Uh, Davina, <laughs> in, a fit, <laughs> in a fit of absolute anger your rage automatically activates and you basically <laughs> lift up the table and you fling it right at Og. It passes right over him. He didn't have to do jack shit because he's short as hell. And it, it missiles through the wall of the hut, out the hut, into the forest. 
Oh my god. It's funny because she's usually good at nailing short men, but you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. Yes, yes, we know. Only one. <laughs> oh, only man. one. Wow. Uh, <laughs> there can be only one. Uh, for a brief moment, there is silence as you all just kind of realized. Oh shit, Davina just threw a freaking <laughs> wall table through the wall. And you all just Sorry, kind of like, like that's hot. You all just kind of like look out the hole to just see it like the table has vanished. Like into the mist. Like it is missile <laughs> out there. And and at that moment you hear a very faint psh, Oh shit! I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Well, there's and one <laughs> very, very faintly in the distance, you hear. God damn it! We hear poop. <laughs> no, yes. it's the it's the T Rex stomping. Exactly what we hear. Guys, 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 guys. No, this is go, Davina. This is exactly. <laughs> what we, hear. we hear Davina throw the table. We hear a <laughs> bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Look, uh, I, I don't know how many times I have to tell this to you guys. I've lived multiple lifetimes in different villages. I don't remember if this is one that I was passing through and I met Jeff and everyone hated him. So which one are we looking for? Because you said that we were looking for one of your villages. I said I didn't know which one was mine. The last one that I was in that everybody died oh, at. The, the most me recent one. You had yeah. to miss him with the table, didn't you? The okay. point is, we're out here trying to kill these things, not redecorate this village. <laughs> like, oh, I appreciate a nice picture you window. Know, if I look around, I think redecorating is in order. Yeah, we're missing. Why don't you take care of that for a while? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a fucking shot. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, miles away. Freaking Volthric is just at his desk, just doing. I get the sense that something very bad's gonna happen. Oh no! <laughs> like I, I get that. I, I'm sensing a lot of animosity. <laughs> All right. So, this one, so this one's a bust. Do you go explore the third hut? Sure. You exit this one with its new window, and you start exploring the final hut. This one has one single table, and then and this one has like the entire side of the hut is just counter space with what actually looks like this is the one place out of the huts that you've seen here that actually still has stuff, and you see what looks like containers, big and small. The small ones you can see are made of glass, and they got what look like spices in them. Uh, spices. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Grog. Does this kitchen look familiar Who's to Grog? You? I'm sorry, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very tired. That's that you could use for us. That's, that's our term? I'm so sorry. Grog. <laughs> <laughs> Odd. Bad? Wow. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> oh no. Odd. No, no. Somebody go check the table while I pull for the spices. It's fine. Never mind. All right. You <laughs> the moment's you, gone. <laughs> you, ge you gently look on the underside of this table, and this one says original table, do not steal. <laughs> Orig hmm. Are any letters like worn away? Uh, actually, yeah. It y it's still readable, but yeah, a lot of it is pretty worn. Like, for example, is the R between the O and the G worn away? Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, where is there a G? Original. Uh, original. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess there would be a few other letters. Yeah, but you know too. what, though? It's something. Uh, roll, me so the, the, 
Roll me an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> Is this where we come up with the origin for Og's name? Maybe. <laughs> Depends on the role. 19. <laughs> uh, yeah, the O and the G are just a little bit more bold than the rest. Wait, these are my spices? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, Og. Well, there may be a connection here. <laughs> Og, does this house look familiar to you? Like, is this the one that you lived at? Again, they're all the same structural design. Oh, yes. You said these are your spices, though. These look like my spices. I don't know anyone else who stacks clothes like that. We may have found a connection here. Uh, Og, why don't you roll me a history check? You keep giving me the skills to roll with the intelligence modifier. 13! Uh, yeah. These spices, they do seem actually pretty recognizable. And yeah, I think these are... And, and it seems like you're actually missing a few. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's stolen some of my spices. Uh, we you. should hunt them down and kill them. <laughs> That escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And apparently my noose thing was too dark tonight. Uh, you know. Wow. <laughs> uh, before we go any further, I think this is the perfect time for us to take our break. Probably. So concerned. Yep. All right, yep. guys. We'll be wow. back in about 15 minutes. We'll stay in touch. All right. Oh, my God. It's going to be a night. <laughs>
All right, and we are back. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop, whoop indeed. Um, so yeah, uh, got back from our break, and it. David's two da places. It, David is in two places. It looks like. Oh shit. Uh, not a problem. Okay, so during the break, I was just I was DM'd by David that. He had to quickly uh, run b a bit of an emergency errand that took him outside of the house. Um, but he gave us permission to continue the session without him. So we're just going to say that, uh, well, his idea was that essentially Og ate a whole canister of cinnamon and is has too much cinnamon to talk right now. So we're just going to assume that he is just kind of, that he's got like cinnamon and he's kind of overdosing right now. So he's just like, oh. <laughs> on his back um anyway so we we shall get things started now hello blue mary um uh, all right i shouldn't have said anything oh well <laughs> oh no no you you no had to because have. now i kind of want to cosplay that because that's it. a fun outfit do it and I want them pants. I have those pants. F fight, fighting, fighting game girls are a different breed, honestly. Oh, oh so. God, yes. Don't get me started on I know from Guilty Gear. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, anywho, uh, so continuing where we left off, you see more and more evidence that this that this hut might very well be Og's hut. I mean, it it is. It, you're not 100% certain, mostly just mostly due to Og's inability to confirm anything. Um, however, as you investigate this place, you start to hear... All of you, what? 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 Wait, what is that? All of you instinctively look <laughs> around and you see Og on his back, like a small glass canister, like just in his mouth. His eyes has have rolled back into his head, and he's kind of foaming at the mouth. And you just see on the side of the glass canister, cinnamon. Oh no! All right, so he's I'm not gonna touch. He's having that. a seizure. <laughs> Do we still hear them horses? Uh, roll me a perception check, Davina. This one will be Alrighty. a straight roll, no disadvantage, because you're using your ears and not your eyes. I got a five. Ooh. <laughs> you don't hear much of anything. I'm still reeling from that table. <laughs> so. Again, however, I'm hearing that squeak. Yeah, I'm hearing rabbits. <laughs> however. You all do still hear that boom. And it's a little louder? Oh, no. No, we should run like it is, Godzilla. No, it isn't. <laughs> but is it? <sighs> All right. Um, can I do a perception check to see if I can see it from here? Uh, yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Yeah, why not, right? Well, I'll tell you why not, because I rolled a six. <laughs> you hear it, you can't see it. All right. Enough. Um, all right. Can we keep investigating the hut to see if there's any more clues that this might be Og's uh, place? Uh, yes, you certainly can. As you guys uh, continue to investigate the hut, and that booming sound gets a little bit louder, you hear the sound of basically something like crashing into wood. Not like, not like destructive or anything. But just something big and heavy br <coughs> brushing. Yeah, up the I feel that, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. How you do it is, ah, and then overactive uh, sinuses. <laughs> Car Carly is a cat in human form. Ex uh, yeah. I, I pretty yes. much am. Uh, so you hear something that seems to be knocking against something large and wooden. And it's coming from outside the hut. Hmm. I, like I, I mean, can we go look? All right. Who decides to stick their head out? 
I will. Be cool. I'll let Polo do it. Both Davina and Polo. Uh, all right. I'm cool with that as well. <laughs> just like, just like, I don't know, like the Three Stooges or something. Like, yeah. Uh, who wants to be the third in the Three Stooges? Who wants to show us? Are you? <laughs> Wait, Eden, did you say? I was gonna say I volunteer Og, but he would be—he's uh, incapacitated right now. So yeah, I'm gonna volunteer. Yeah, Og is very much out of commission right now. So I'm our gonna volunteer Durgan, the Durgan board. Durgan. I right, mean, there, so... there could be four Stooges. Technically, there was a total of five. Um, yeah. Okay, so Arios. So it's Arios, Polo, Davina, Atarax. Um, all of you stick your heads like around the corner of the doorway and you see the faint outline of the mother Rugen that seems to have its head it's like trying to move its snout into that second hut that you were in where Davina made a new window wait a minute you mean to tell me these goblins built these huts and trees but they didn't build them big enough to keep the Rugens out they probably mama didn't... Rugen is huge they probably didn't know about this tall one. Oh, God. <laughs> he can't help you now. Yeah. <laughs> These goblins just keep finding ways to disappoint and frustrate me, honestly. <laughs> oh. Um, all right. Well, I don't know what to do. I mean... It's probably not a good idea for us to stick around here right now. So. <laughs> all right, don't jump all in at once. <laughs> um, are we able to see anything in the distance? Maybe another village through the trees? Uh, unfortunately not. It is way too misty. You could only see like these three huts, which seem to be the only huts on this specific tree. Can I send my unseen servant about um, as far as I can send my unseen servant, which I will tell you in a moment how far that is. <laughs> can I send him about 60 feet and kind of just rotate my body as he rotates around me 60 feet out? Um, all right. Uh, you cast your unseen servant. As you kind of spin around, you see trees, mist, mist, another tree. Can, the can mother. I throw... What? Sorry. Uh, I, I'll let you finish, and then I'll go. The mother Rugen and a tree. And a tree. All right. All right. So the that Rugen mother thing is in that direction. Then may I? Try pick up one of the chairs, throw it out the building into the forest to try to get the Mother Rugen distracted and go in the opposite direction. Yes, you certainly can do that. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so you Polo, you grab a chair. You stealthily uh, step out of the doorway of the hut. And you essentially... Health and Deception are actually my two biggest uh, straights, so... And uh, you aim, you aim the chair, essentially going past the Rugen's back. Uh, roll me a strength check. All right. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Yep. Oh, yeah. You throw that chair. You throw it hard. And that chair goes sailing over the Rugen, kind of disappears into the mist. And you hear a faint crashing noise. The Rug the mother Rugen like stops what it's doing, slowly pulls its head out of the hut, and then it starts lumbering towards the noise. Alright. Well, I think we need to be a bit more discreet. I'm trying to tell this group to be discreet. But uh <laughs> yeah, to We be really enough. are a ragtag bunch of Yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> All, all of the, and all of the sudden, uh, on the floor of the hut, Og just only goes, ah, 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 
Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yes, apparently I do. As as Og comes out oh. of his cinnamon overdose induced coma, I just I grab Og by the mouth and I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> it's fucking like you got you by the How do you find new ways to make this more difficult? <laughs> Make one more difficult. I think Evan, you better name this on the, on YouTube the episode where Polo snaps. All I all I can think of is like that moment when the game grumps were playing Star Fox. Like, all right, sound off. Uh, Peppy, are you good to go? Peppy's all good. All right, Falco's all ready. Okay, Falco. Slippy's good to go. You shut the fuck up, Slippy. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, Slippy. <laughs> wow. So, uh. Yeah, there's a callback. Wow, that has been so long since Star Fox, man. All right, so, Og, uh, you kind of jolt awake, but yet the moment you do, you see an absolutely enraged Polo just slap his hand over your mouth, and you're just going, shut up, shut up! <laughs> I did, um, a, I did a near perfect throw of that chair. You are not ruining this for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, That's a fucking chair? mood. Yeah. He threw my chair. I, I'm going to. Oh, so it is your chair. So you're Which admitting that now. <laughs> are you letting me speak? Oh, shit. Okay, David, go ahead. No, no, no. no. I mean, is Polo going to let Og speak? Are you going to let him Maybe. speak, Polo? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> but you're going to have to speak quietly. Dang it, because I was going to leak in self-defense. Uh, what, what the hell's going on? Why did you throw my chair? Because it's giving us a chance not to get eaten. Uh, eaten by what? Take a guess. Did the, thing, did the thing find us? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a maybe, and you throw my chair. I don't like you. Oh, my God. <laughs> You may or may not get bitten at some point during this journey. Oh no! By me, and see it what will, happens. It well, will get infected. I'm just saying. Davina just say. out of nowhere pulls popcorn out and just starts. Terrible timing. I needed the cinnamon to jog my memory. Yes, this is my house. One of them. All right, well, uh, at least we're getting somewhere. Okay, by the way, um, if that's the angle that we're going with, um, <laughs> um, uh, Og, I need you to make a constitution check. Oh, no. Oh, yay. I hate you, All right, you, let's David. see what penalty I have on that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, 17. All right, 17. You somehow... Despite the 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 overdose coma you went through, you were actually able to completely ingest all the cinnamon that was in that canister. Jeez. Holy shit! So much cinnamon, oh. Oh, bro. Gosh. That's gonna back you up yeah. for weeks. Oh my no god, you're gonna hurt I yourself. I think we're about to. I think very soon we're going to learn how goblin shit. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Where's my pickles? I need oh. my pickles. <laughs> I, I search. Searching oh, you're actually spices. searching for pickles. Goblin um, pickle. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Oh, God. Ooh, it's a natural 20. Minus one is 19. <laughs> so, why do you have a minus one in that one? Because I have an intelligence of eight. Because he's stupid. <laughs> Wait, Eden. Uh, Kira, did you say he's stoopy? Yes. He's stoopy. Stoopy! <laughs> you guys are so mean to my poor goblin. I have done nothing to this goblin except help him. You shut up. <sighs> I am going to smoke the stoopy now. <laughs> Who wants some drugs? <laughs> we well, 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 all know Mistral likes them. I yeah. would like to smoke some crack if you do not mind. <laughs> it's in the jar next to the raisins. <laughs> okay, so Og, as you investigate this large counter space, you see a bunch of canisters of other spices. 
you see you see a jar of pickles and then right next right next to that you see a glass jar of what just straight up looks like white powder oh and, no and then right next to that you see it's not like a canister but it looks kind of like like a like a metal tray kind of like an oven tray and inside of it looks like very faintly colored blue glass hmm I don't remember baking that. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't bake it. You cook it. <laughs> so I grabbed the pickles. Okay, you grabbed the pickles, ignoring all of the other Could've things. I grabbed the mess. We do not. <laughs> we do not need to go through the stash of drugs right now that are disguised as spices. Yeah. But I just consumed an entire jar of. <laughs> we'll wait till after it. the battle. And then we'll and, call it shawarma. And Ooh, I love shawarma. Apparently, there's also one canister that says spice melange for some reason. You don't know what that is. For traveling between the stars, hello. <laughs> I mean, there's way harder stuff than that. Um, okay, so, Og, you have your pickles. What are you doing with, the, with, with your pickles? Uh, well, I need to know where this mother of all Harulgan is. So I look around at Polo. Where, where is it? Where is it? The thing that's trying to eat us. Well, it's gone now. I scared it away. Or not okay. scared it, but I lured it away. Okay. I need rocks. Mistral? Mistral? No, I... Mistral's rocks are special rocks. I know this. Aww. We need regular <laughs> rocks. That's actually quite sweet. <laughs> Well, how do you plan for us to get rocks in trees? You have to get out of the trees, big people. You know what? Davina just says, I will fly down there as soon as, as fast as I can. How many rocks do you need? Uh, four or five. Okay. That can fit inside this jar together with the pickles. Awesome. I take the jar. All right. Evan, do I got to roll for this? Don't eat those. I won't. <laughs> you don't know where they've been. I I really don't, and it disturbs me. All right. What Divi do I have to roll for this? All right, Davina, you fly down <laughs> silently to the ground. So far, the coast is clear. Roll me and roll me a perception check. Again. All right. I got a six. You find Whoa. two rocks. Sick. Can I try again, hoping that the horse lion things will not hear me? Uh, roll me another perception. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I got it, too. Woo. You find one rock, but... The moment you try to pick it up, you drop it. Hmm. Well, but, I tried. But you don't hear anything. Can I pick the rock up again then and put it in the thing? You now have three rocks. Yay! Can I? Can I? <laughs> that was the I most try? terrified yay ever. <laughs> can I try again? You get one more shot. <laughs> I, I got like another. I got another six. Jesus! <laughs> you find one more rock. You now have a I total got of four. four. That's fine. I'm gonna fly back up. All right. <laughs> oh, it says here. <laughs> By the way, Josh says Polo has patience till Og shattered it into a million tiny pieces and threw them <laughs> into the fires of Mordor. Yep. <laughs> All right. Wait, uh, I know where Mordor is? Yes. <laughs> Vacation. Oh, my God. There. Please help me. <laughs> All right, Davina, you fly back up <laughs> with the pickles and now four pretty nice, totally normal rocks inside the jar. Oh, no, Evan, I don't like I don't like this. 
Okay. Oh. Well, you fly up to everyone and. Okay. You... Well, okay. You sounded like you paused for dramatic effect. I, I was I waiting wasn't for sure. everyone to respond to that. You. Well, I apologize. Give, give it. I... Give it. Quick. Quick. Give me. Give me the germ. Give me the germ. Give me the germ. I, I the fly germ. into the house, and I hand him the jar, and I say, "I hope four is enough." Uh, yeah, I said four or five. Thanks. Oh. And I screw the top on. I just like I as as he walks away, I do one of these like. <laughs> at that at that moment, the owl bear pops out of Eden's bag, and like, clutches its beak on the back of <laughs> Davina's top, and is like dragging her back like not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need a, I need an hour. I need about an, need hour, an hour for this to work. Okay. And as he's long just as sitting it's there, quiet he just hour. and starts shaking the pickle jar quietly. All right. I don't. Never mind. And while while this is going on, all of you hear coming from beneath the hut. It's a guy banging two halves of the coconut together. I was. I was going to say it's the start of Horse With No Name by America. <laughs> Alright. Is it, re like, repetitive? Uh, it seems like, it seems like it was, it, whatever it is, it's moving on the forest floor beneath, right beneath you guys. And it seems to have stopped literally directly beneath you. I don't like that. I don't like um, that either. I guess I'm. I could go investigate. I'm gonna leave the room. Just to, if like I don't like us being all clustered up like this. I can I go. A... I can go investigate. All right. So Polo, you go. You kind of stick your head out the doorway and you look down and you see one of the normal Rugen that seems to just be now like foraging around the base of the tree. It's just kind of like patting around. It's kind of sniffing a bit. And it seems to be particularly interested in sniffing the trunk. Ah, shit. Alright. Well, I look at everyone and I'm just like this. Yeah, that's it. That's all I do. <laughs> okay, so Polo whispers Rugen and points down. Uh, no one is responding to this. Uh, Davina's. I mean, we're. I mean, we're all being quiet. Polo put his like finger to his like lips. Like everybody, shut the oh, fuck up. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Mr. All just responds with, "What?" <laughs> and then Davina, whisper... don't oh, go for it. Is that a whisper it. scream or what is that? It's like a like a what? Like like a like a whisper scream, like like a stage um, whisper. Yeah, yeah, stage whisper. Again. You need you need to enunciate your. All of the vowels and consonants, you're you're muddling together. Hold on, can I can I just have Davina walk up to her and just, just tap on her shoulder and go? He said that there's a funny Okay, <laughs> yeah, but he needs to communicate it better. That's fair. He really does, but that's not the point right now. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it because Jordan's in the way. No, you're literally in the way. I hate you all. <laughs> should I, should I throw a rock at it? No. Oh. Are we? Any ideas? Are Are we leaving? I mean, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what August is trying to do. During that time, Og, I would like you to roll a, a dexterity check. 
By the way, okay. Og, by the way, Og, answer me this. The lid is on the jar, right? Yes. Okay, roll me dexterity check. Okay. <laughs> I know where you're going with this, Evan. You? This is why I don't make pickles at home. Uh, 12. All right. The jar slips out of your hands. Of course it and does. And in slow motion, mm. you grab it before it hits the floor. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. Wait, wait, I got it. I got it. Okay, because I still have my unseen servant with me. I'm going to have him go 60 feet that way and just make a bunch of noise. Unseen servants can't make noise. Wait, they can, can they? throw things. They can throw things. They can pick stuff up and like... Yeah. Wait, hold on. Unseen servant, casting time one action, blah, blah, blah. Creates an invisible, mindless, shapeless force that performs simple tasks at your command until the spell ends. Burst springs into existence, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it actually, they can interact with objects. Mm -hmm. uh, but they can only do simple things, such as fetching things, cleaning, mending, folding clothes, lighting fires, serving food, well, and I, pouring I one. I think shaking a tree branch aggressively is a simple task. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, fair point. <laughs> All right. Uh, you cast your unseen servant, and it basically goes away. And you get the you get the instinct that it is successfully clasping onto a branch and it's just shaking it. The Rugen, however. The Rugen unfortunately doesn't notice because it's too far away. Because you um, went a full 60 feet. Does well, anybody uh, have... Oh, go for it, Izzy. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not done yet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. At this time, though, the Rugen continues just sniffing around the base of the tree. And then it seems to just kind of stop for a moment. It kind of puts one clawed hoof onto the trunk. And then another one. And it just kind of gives it like a, a very gentle shake. And all of you kind of feel the... You can kind of feel the branches quiver. And like the, um, the hut kind of rocks a bit. Guys, mm. I think we gotta go relatively soon. Probably not a bad idea. I think we need Why? an escape plan. While we still have a chance to come up with one, let's come up with an escape plan here. So... so um... On, on a escape plan, yes. But on a secondary plan? Anybody think there's any way somebody could, you know, like, use the momentum of falling down to, like, stab it and just try to kill it with one blow? So it does I got noise? my axe. If you're suggesting Although, throwing the goblin at it, I disagree. One, <laughs> one person could the just use hunt. their sword... Dude. And just use the momentum to just shish kebab it. Impale. I mean, I've still yeah. got the sword you gave me, Davina. Are you chill with falling? Uh, I've done danger more dangerous things. All right, who wants to throw polo? Get <laughs> a ball special, baby. <laughs> no, uh, you're already focusing on your thing. <laughs> Atarax, yes. you want to throw polo? I don't think I can do that morally. I, I don't know if I... Maybe? I was going to say, is polo standing on the edge? That's a lot of weight. Like, of the, the edge where... You guys could... know I'm short, right? I thought you were... I mean, well, everyone's yeah, short to me. I'm, a, I'm like five... How tall is polo? No. Oh. What did, what did I give him? I think it was like five six, five 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 six. I'm not that short, but you know, not big, but not like not like the size I actually am. So I... you know. But again, I ask, where's Polo standing? I don't even know. Where am I standing? I say, uh, you're... you were you're kind of closer to the doorway because you peeked out of it one time. So he's not okay. standing at the edge of like. 
the perimeter of the treehouse thing. Uh, so. no, he's still technically inside. Okay, never mind. Polo, you just want to catapult yourself out of the tree? I mean, I guess I could try to do that. We've done stranger things. But I need to know someone is going to immediately come and get me. I was going to say, Arios is going to be like, I mean, um, depending on how far the fall is, or, or, I mean, you're going to be okay with falling that far if you, uh, if you miss. That's why I need to make sure someone is immediately going to come and get me. I would say somebody who can fly might might be a better option, although you can't see. We have two flyers who are both excellent warriors, so basically this is... either is fine. I got two people up here. Atarax, you can do it. I mean, I gotta take off a lot of my armor if I'm gonna fly. Uh, then I'll do it. <laughs> what about falling, Atarax? Yes. But Davina's like, but you gotta take care of my man. I might be able to, I might be able to glide. Oh, so you can't, like, actually, like, go and swoop him up in case something goes wrong. That would require him to get naked again. I'm not All naked, right. just not in my armor. No, that, no, it's, it's full-on Datarax naked. You got it. Don't worry. You don't have to explain yourself. It's just a loincloth. I'm sorry. Then I will do it. If that's easier for everybody involved, I will be the one to get Polo if something goes wrong. You actually mm -hmm. might have to get me even if it goes right. I'm chill too. with that too. Just give me a signal. Like do like a hand thing. The signal will be me yelling at <laughs> help. All right. I'm chill with that. I will know. All right. This I guess we is, this got This isn't it. like some secret like plan or anything like that. This is me taking a big chance and taking back up. So <laughs> I think, she's, I think we got a plan, guys. All I'm right. Pretty, I'm pretty confident. All right. <laughs> All right. Dur <laughs> during, this, go poorly. during this entire time, Og is shaking the jar like a bartender with a martini mixer. <laughs> and, he, and he's actually getting quite good at it. He's doing, like, the whole thing where he, like, does it, kind of <laughs> spins it a bit. <laughs> aren't, you, aren't you a little young for a bartender? Aren't you a little old for prom? <laughs> I can't wait for Uncharted. Uh -oh. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. So, uh, all right. oh right. So, how is this working out? Uh, do I just go? Is that the plan? Is Polo just gonna jump out of the hut? So we I were mean, to yeah, escape. just dive bomb. All right. So, just make sure I aim well. And. I jump. All right. Roll me a dexterity check. Dexterity check. Great. I don't have any modifiers. Wonderful. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a seven. All right. Give me just a moment. I'm going to have to kind of calculate this one. Ooh. Get my calculations in order. That's not, that's not good. All right. Okay, um, there's also, I need to calculate this here. Um, okay, so, Polo, what was that? Um, that was a seven. That was a seven? Okay, so then... Okay, so Polo, uh, unfortunately, you take twenty-three points of bludgeoning fall damage. Oh my god! Oh. I had, great I, plan, guys. <laughs> oh jeez. And you? And Has it you, gone wrong now? And you fall right next to the Rugen. Oh, oh god! And it just kind of stops what it's doing, and it just kind of looks at you like. Um. 
What are you doing? Can I see this happen and have Davina just fly as fast as she can down there? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, Davina, roll me an athletics check. Okay. Um, great. Super duper. I got a six. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God. Oh, boy. This, this close from being a 19. Uh, all right. <clears throat> from this point forward, I'm the one who comes up with the plans. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So my, my plan was is that both, so the, sorry. both the Rugen and Davina were going to have to roll opposing uh, athletics checks to see who gets to polo first. Um, <laughs> Answered that one real quick. Uh, Davina, we are going to have to re-roll because I also rolled a six. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Party hard. Fucking amazing. Wow. A, li a little luck. Oh, 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 I got a nat 20. Yes. <laughs> that is a 23, Evan. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and the Rugen rolled Liam. a five. So, you know, yeah! what? Oh, so, my God. Davina, I... so Davina, you dive bomb like a peregrine falcon. <laughs> right towards polo and you just swoop him up and now polo you are being carried bridal style <laughs> um with unfortunately what seems like a sprained ankle yeah oh no my guardian angel come to protect me once again <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile the rugen is just don't tell Anne marie <laughs> Me meanwhile Anne marie is all the way back in acheron just going why do i feel angry all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I feel threatened? Emery, <laughs> nah, she gets it. She no, knows she what's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we later have like a mini arc where ya where Anne Marie turns out to be a total yander, eh? <laughs> oh no! Oh god! And the rest it's, of it's, it's, it's Davina standing next to Anne Marie, and uh, and Evans like Davina. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Shit! I don't want to fight her. I love <laughs> Anne Marie. <laughs> and she just has like a little butcher knife, <laughs> head tilt with red eyes. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> oh God. Same. I think I think I gave you what I had. Not like I had anything, but that oh, sounds man. like me. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> So the Rugen is watching all of this happen and notices uh, that Davina has flown up and returns to the hut and you set Polo down. And I've got a sprained ankle, you, basically. I mean, I, I was just kind of saying that's what it f certainly feels like, but you're not, you're, your movement isn't restricted or anything. Okay, all right. <laughs> and I just look, and I'm just like... Well, that was a great plan. Uh, I think at most all I did was confuse it. <laughs> uh, the good news is that at this time, um, Og, whatever you're doing with that jar of pickles and rocks, it's ready. Awesome. I stand up and I take the top of the jar off and I reach in and I grab a rock and I take a bite. Pickles yeah, and Rocks is my favorite, like, morning one? radio show. He, the the brine Pickles softens it so you can Pickles eat it. I made snacks. Oh, uh, <laughs> nope. Is that why okay. you needed... Wait a minute. Hold on. One, two, three, four. God damn it. Is that why you needed five of them? No. Okay. It's just five would fit in the jar. <laughs> I just oh. have Davina look at him and be like... I'm sorry, but Polo looks like he is legit contemplating murder <laughs> right now. <laughs> look, it took this. 23 points of bludgeoning damage for a stupid joke. No, you didn't. You took 23 points of bludgeoning damage for jumping out of a window on to the ground. <laughs> oh... Oh no. I would like to I would like to rage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean uh, I have a plan with the pickles. I just haven't told you what it is yet. I okay. would like to rage. Davina, you are raging. Um, can I just walk over to Og really calmly uh, and oh, no. just and just lift him up by the scruff of his neck? 
Nope, I do not consent. I do not consent. <laughs> say, oh, you gave that right say, up a long and time say, ago. We have had it with your little games. What <laughs> is the point of all of this? Of what? The what biggest... are we doing right now? Apart from oh. trying to kill those horse things, which don't seem that bothered by us. He's what very lucid for being in rage right now. Are we Dave, doing right now? By scent. There's nothing more pungent than a goblin pickle. I don't care right now. <laughs> and I just slam him on the wall. Ow. Not so much to hurt him, <laughs> but to freak him out. And I say, what is the goal? What is the end goal here? For what? Of what we're get doing. Away from these things. Of what it. we're doing. Why are we looking for your village? Um, you guys wanted to help. Wanted to help yeah, do what? Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, you wanted to help rid the forest of these things so that no other little goblins were hurt. I drop him and I say, I'll be right back. And I Stay walk outside of the house and Stay you can just hear me throw another fucking table <laughs> in the next <laughs> house over. And I, I look at Og and I say, I'd like to point out, she never got that angry with her ex-husband. <laughs> I'm not in a relationship with her. By the way, uh, oh Davina... God. If I could have you roll a strength check. I'm totally and because you're And that. because you're raging, I'll give you advantage. I'm sick. Look, if you want to use the just... tactically. <laughs> I got Ario's a 14. Leaving. You know With what? advantage? Okay. Uh, because you're raging, the DC was honestly not that high. But this is mostly just for comedic value. And because we got to get <laughs> this kind of moving. Uh, Davina... You grab the table and just with a, you like, you don't, you don't necessarily throw it. You like, you walk over to the edge of the hut and you basically throw it completely down. However, you don't notice this because you're completely raging, but you threw it right at the Rulgan and you basically crushed its oh, neck shit. and you killed it instantly. <laughs> And then I go back to the house. And I'm calm now. I'm not raging. And By I the look way, at Davina, and I Davina, say, Davina, you have no idea that you killed the Rulgan. You did no not shit, know. Oh shit, really? You you had no idea that you inadvertently cool. killed it. You just threw the table and then you turned around. Well, that that changes what I was going to say, but I look at Og and I say I'm not going to talk to you for the rest of the day. And I just walk and I stand by Arya. Arios actually like leans towards who's who's next to, who else is next to Arios? Uh Mistral. Arios leans over towards Mistral and just goes. Alright. Is it is it wrong that that was uh <clears throat> kinda hot? <laughs> um your lady. Can I can I try and see that the, the Rubel has been killed? Uh, well, you don't know anything happened to the Rulgan. I mean, you just saw her throw down a table. I mean, you can look over the edge just out of curiosity. Okay. Um, can, I, can I do that? Yeah. Just, just, uh, Polo. Just because Polo's a very investigative guy, you know, so. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, sense. yeah. So, Polo, you kind of walk out, and basically the sequence of events here is that, like, oh, shit, Davina threw a table. Let me just see if, like, the table, like, shattered or something out of curiosity. Yeah. Oh, that's a shattered table and a dead Rulgan. Wait, what? A dead Rulgan? <laughs> and can I can I go down and examine it? Yes, now you can go down and examine it. Okay, that's what I'm going to do by myself. How do you get How down? How are you getting down? <laughs> I don't know. I'll climb down the tree. I'll take I'll take one of my daggers and try and like help myself down. Basically, I don't need to drop this time. So. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I love you guys. Okay, so Polo, you you gently dagger fall your way down to the forest floor, and uh, you suffer no falling damage. 
And uh, right before you is the dead Rugen. Okay. So what? Investigation check or what? Yeah, do I do this here? would definitely be. Well, what it, what is it that you're exactly looking for? Well, okay, I forget. Does it have the black blood or whatever? Do uh, we know oh that? yeah, it definitely has the black blood. All right. Well, I'll investigate it anyway. Just looking for I don't know clues or just maybe maybe like grass or or like grass stains or something that might be able to tell us where these things are and where they've been. All right. So. Um, okay, so for that, yeah, roll me an investigation check. All right. Dirty 20. Nice. Okay, give me just one moment. All right. So during your investigations, Polo, uh, you see pretty much all the standard stuff. Blue blood, white eyes, black te or black blood, white eyes, black tear stains going down the side of the face. Um... And you do see little traces of what seem to be, like, little scorched fur around the hooves and claws. And you also realize that those same little burn marks are also on the sides of the tree. When the Rugen, like, put its hooves upon it and kind of shook a bit. Okay. Uh, by the way, Polo, I need you to now roll me a perception check. Perception, all right. 19. Uh, you hear what sounds like hoof falls uh, coming towards you. Uh, all right. So can I scream out? Davina! Help! Hey, Davina! What? <laughs> I'm down here. Help! Okay! I give I give Arius a peck on okay. the chin. Okay, get crunk. All right. <laughs> I give. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. I oh, give Arius a quick peck on the cheek, and I fly down to help Polo. <laughs> oh no, we broke Evan. <laughs> we broke the DM. All right. And breathe a little life into this episode, at least. All right. Yeah, uh, yo! Okay! <laughs> he really is broken on this one. Evan, are you okay? I don't think he's okay. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I'll go reset him. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, go hit, go hit the reset button. So let's see. Arg is up there just staring at Arios and Mithril and Adarax and Eden. Yep. Eating pickled rocks. Pickled rocks. Pickle. Yeah. Well, you guys want one? I, you know, I've tried oh, a lot of teeth. things. I've, I've tried a lot of things, but I think pickled rocks. Is... <laughs> Actually, looks like he's dying right now. The... Oh God. The secrets in the brine. It like breaks everything the brine? down. Yeah, the the pickle brine. The brine. <laughs> Hello, brine. Okay. Even okay. your sensitive elf okay. teeth can eat these rocks. Actually, that makes me realize something. <laughs> Mistral, you wouldn't happen to know of a Jeff, would you? Jeff. Yeah. Um, why do you ask? Uh, he was one of the names we saw. Jeff the Elf. Well, um, you know, <laughs> that's, a little... <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little personal, you know? It's, uh... Oh, for God's sake, Mistral! This is really not the time for this. We already have enough trouble with Og. I know, I know, I know, but mostly I'm waiting for the DM to <laughs> see if I know a, know, a, know a man named Jeff. I may have no man named Jeff. Man named Jeff. <laughs> it could just be a coincidence because I totally made up the name Jeff for that joke. Like, right on the spot. Oh, oh yeah. you oh, don't God. know the name. <laughs> the DM works in mysterious ways. You never know, my friend. Um, God, God Evan, is quiet right now. Evan, oh, no, Mr. No. Mr. Mr. Man in the Sky. What? Oh, man in the what? Sky, okay. are you alive? <laughs> Did you uh, shrink down to Og size? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little man now. <laughs> hey, stop making fun of me. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> or get mad and turn into the um, Incredible Smurf. Okay. Three apples pie. Oh, no. Blue. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh my god. Oh. Oh my my chest hurts 
by an unfathomable <laughs> I didn't. Even, I didn't even think it would be that funny. <laughs> it's just like. What? Well, it wasn't just that. It just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh. There okay. we go. So, Mr. Mr. DM, uh, tis. Oh, I'm on unstable internet. Your computer. You're oh, so, so is mine. We'll see you. I would, but it says you are on unstable. I have the greatest internet. You cannot say that. <laughs> Anyways, um, Mr. <laughs> Mr. DM, do I know the Jeff that we found the table of? Uh, roll me a history check. <laughs> oh God. Drum roll, please. Drum roll of yeah the. Oh, okay. Um, history. My, ooh, this is very interesting role here. Um, I have a 21. Oh, wow. 21. 21. <laughs> <Don't they run? laughs> you stupid. Um, yeah, you actually know Jeff. He is one of the orc chefs that works at the, at the Greyblade headquarters, like in the mezzanine level. Really? Do you not, Paul, oh, don't you know, don't you know Jeff? I don't spend a lot of time in the Gravelades building. And, and, and Mistral, and Mistral, you personally don't know Jeff. You just remember seeing a goblin with a name tag, Jeff, who who is one of the cooks. I thought he was an elf. No, well, I kept saying he was an elf because oh, okay. very nice handwriting. <laughs> oh, uh, that's well, that doesn't help. Oh jeez, uh, Josh in the chat just has it all caps. Yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> you know, I didn't even mean to do that. That yeah, is I bullshit. I did it though. And all right, first off, out. I was minding my own business. <laughs> bullshit. I bullshit. was. Then please, Alicard, tell me if how I don't know how the rest of it goes. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Davina, where did we leave off? I can't remember now. Davina I... went down to help Polo. Okay, Davina, you roll me a <laughs> athletics check. Okay, okay. Thought I already did, but then all that shit happened. Oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty, I got it 20, a dirty 20. Nice. Dirty 20. So you got a dirty 20, okay. Yes. All right, then. Davina, you are able to swoop down. However, just as you're about to grab Polo, a second Rugen leaps out of the brush like to your side and is about to pounce on you i need you to make one more i need you now to make an athletics saving throw all righty that's dexterity no yes okay yes. i got a 12. oof do i need to do a dexterity saving no throw? not not at this moment because it's going after davina not you oh okay all right uh, I got a 12. The Rugen rolled a 19. Yup. Oh. Oh. I'm chill with that. I got the, plenty of hit points. The Rugen... Let's go. <laughs> the Rugen tackles Davina to the ground. Davina, you are now prone on oh, the shit. ground. You must now oh. wrestle the Rugen naked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Evan, what does it mean when you're prone again? Uh, you're be you're being ba you're basically forced onto your back, and you would need to spend like a movement or an action just to get back up on your feet. Wait, wait, wait! Can I just have her be like, "Oh fuck, today needs to end very soon." <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> All right. So then I'm gonna use an action to get up, but it's gonna be like. Ow! Ow! Are we in combat? <laughs> uh, give me just a moment. All right. So, Davina, you are now being held prone by the Rugen, which is bearing its fangs on you. Um, so basically, 
Uh, so, Polo, you now have a chance to try and save Davina right here. So what okay. is it that you're going to do? Ah, uh, 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 God. Um, uh, uh, firebolt. <laughs> firebolt. 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 Wait, what is this? <laughs> You've never seen that? I oh my god, I'm showing you something later. You're gonna die. Oh no, I'm horrible. Don't kill him. Promise? <laughs> so I don't have to pay student loans when they start off I in a month? I feel that on a spiritual level, you don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I have no plan for the future. I thought I was always gonna die in the climate wars in the next 20 years. Evan. We are. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, no. It's the franchise wars. Ah, uh, D and D, remember? it's fun. We're all having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, so Polo, you have to roll for Firebolt, I believe, right? Uh, I, I, I guess. Well, in the, well, in this case, because it's not an actual combat round, uh, Polo, just roll me an Arcana check. An Arcana check. Okay. Fourteen. Oh, uh, 14, yeah. Your aim is true, and you get it, like, right in the side of the face. Okay. Um, I hopefully, it, hopefully it does something, because these things seem to be living in an area with a lot of, like, heat or whatever, so... Uh, I will say that the... Oh, man. That the Rugen takes 10 points of fire damage. All right. However, this just seemed to catch the Rugen's attention. At this moment, it then all of the sudden, instead of charging, yes. Is Davina still in rage? No. No, uh -oh. not at this time. Okay, However, right. uh, Davina, the Rulgan has now gotten off of you. Okay, cool. Well, I thought so because I said I used an action to. Well, it was get on. It was up. on you that whole oh, time. Oh, I like... didn't. I'm sorry, I did not catch that. No, it's all right, fine. So That's... never mind. I don't use an action for that. Well, now you can because okay. now it's off of you. Now I use um, my action to get up. That's my bad. I just misheard you. Now, that being said, the Rugen then suddenly looks at the both of you, just kind of tilts its head for a moment, and then all of a sudden it just whips around, turning its back to you, rears up onto its hind legs, and then slams both of its hooves on the trunk of the tree. And you see it uh -huh. splinter. Oof. The, the tree everybody else is in. Yes. Would everybody I... else have felt that? Oh, yeah. I am going to try my best to hold... The, this is going to sound really stupid and kind of macho. I'm going to try my very best to keep the tree from falling <laughs> until everybody gets down. And I'm going to look up and I'm going to say, everybody down now. I'll try and help. I'll assist. All right, so both so both can I e can I try to use the great sword of vengeance on the other side to like try to like hold the the tree trunk up too like oh. like like plant it and try to use it as like a uh, a pillar. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Uh Davina and Atarax, I need you both to roll me strength checks and we're going to add them together. And because Polo is using the great sword as kind of like a kickstand, I'm going to allow both Davina and Atarax to roll strength checks with advantage. Mm. Oh, God, thank God, because I got a seven. I was going to say, once they're done with that, I have an idea as well. Oh. I got a seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh you rolled a seven twice? No, she no, rolled a five. No, I got a seven. five. Uh, well, uh, okay, so... Uh, uh, I got a dirty 20. All right. That helps. Okay. All right. So with a 27, <clears throat> uh, you guys are able to not stop, but slow the fall of the tree. Uh, you do feel another tremor as the Rugen has basically slammed its hooves on it again, making it splinter even more. Um, Arios, Mistral, and Eden, and Og... Uh, you all have an opportunity to try and get down uh, before the tree crashes. So I would actually like Arios to do what what his original actual thought was how this was supposed to work in the first place. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Arios is going to basically plummet down, but as he is plummeting down, he is going to use his gust to kind of keep himself on track to get directly on top of the Rogan, and I want to stab that little jerk in the face. I was almost going to say, could Polo try to catch him? Because I think that would be funny. <laughs> that would be freaking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, Arius, do what you were going to do. So if you if you fall off the horse, then we'll talk about that. Or so this would also actually be a sneak attack. So I don't have to hit, I don't have to use, a, I don't have to roll to hit. It just automatically hits. All right. All uh, right. Well, if that's the case, then roll your damage. Yeah. That's an eight for damage. All right. But I'm going for the face. So please tell right. me I stab him in the eye. Uh, you unfortunately did not get it in the eye, but you got it like in like the side of the neck. It's a big bulky horse neck, so you're not sure if that was a killing blow, but it was definitely effective. Um, the Rulgan is now basically going to focus all of its effort in trying to get, uh, get you off of its back. Um, now that being said, though, we still have, uh, Eden and Mistral and Og that need to try and get out of the tree. Yeah, try being the effective word. I, I need to not break these pickles, man. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you Why? so much. <laughs> we could use them tactically, but that's okay. I'll eat them later. For what, David? What for can what? we use them tactically for? Yeah. Um, one. I, I said it earlier that Rogan would track us by scent when we were in the mist. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not catch that. I, <laughs> thought, okay. I thought you were being funny. I was being funny. <laughs> I'm being funny and tactical at the same time. I can do both. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> um, Sony's so putting it, the band hammer on all the uh, Spider-Man uh, videos that have been uploaded. By the way, good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get down without breaking these pickles. All right, so Og, uh, how are you getting down? I'm gonna tuck myself into a tiny little ball around the jar of pickles and just roll with the flow. Evan, stop biting your nails. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I hate it. I hate it so much. If I if I could put my foot in here with my two mouths, I would. Oh, uh, you oh. nasty! You all heard me. You nasty. Uh, no judgment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Og, I need you then to roll me an athletics check. Oh God! All right. That's a 10. Woo. 10 just barely makes it as you tuck and roll around the jar and you are able to avoid any kind of extensive fall damage as you hit the ground. Um, yeah. you, you do take... You do take five points of bludgeoning damage just because it was a relatively high height. Uh, but the good news okay. is the jar itself is unharmed. Ooh, good. Now, oh, all, God. And now, Mistral and Eden, how are you guys getting down? Can I do, like, a cool, like, kick flip? I use my bow with a rope attached to it. Did Mistral start CrossFit tree? in between episodes or something? Is that is that Apparently. what we're running right now? Like... <laughs> you know, she's just getting more comfortable. She's like, okay, I can... I it's can, all that hot yoga. I can like yeah. spread my yeah, kind of is actually. <laughs> Davina, Carly's eyes just lit up right there. <laughs> that was me by hot yoga. Okay. Okay, so Mistral, how are, how are you getting down? I would like to use my bow with a rope attached attached to my arrow and shoot it at the tree and then like swing my way down. Oh, so you're doing a Hawkeye. Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. You roll me a dexterity check. Dexterity. Whee! Rolling. I rolled a number. Then I'm going to add two. That's a 15, sir. All right. You are somehow able to get an arrow, tie a rope to it, 
knock it, pull back, and shoot it at the tree. Keep a good grip on it. Only to find out that you were only 10 feet off the ground. <laughs> I, still, I look cool. That's fair. Uh, she makes a good point. Eden, you're the last one. Yep. Uh, Eden, you can use the rope that I left behind. Oh, that's oh. smart. You can't just climb down the ropes. True. I'll just do that. All right. Uh, Eden chooses the safest option and is able to climb down the tree onto the floor. All and, right. And you are all able to make it to the forest floor just as the tree finally collapses. Oh, crash. At that moment. I... Oh, go for it. At that moment, all of you hear a very loud crunch and snap sound as all of you just kind of look behind and you see the Mother Rugen as it put a hoof on top of the trunk of the tree and just like breaks it in half. That was my house. And it is and it is looking <laughs> at all of you and it is not happy. It then looks down at the crushed form of the other Rugen that Davina killed with a table. Yep. <laughs> And, I got uh, angry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it looks back at all of you clearly enraged. Maybe it just wants to sue us in a civil court. <laughs> We're past that point. There's something civil We're about past that point. Probably. Uh, the Rugen roars at you and is start and is making its steps towards you. Um, I don't like that. Uh, Og will gently set the pickle jar down, and then he he slowly walks in that in that cool guy fashion. Slowly walks to pose himself between this gigantic Urugan and the party, and he just looks up, tiny little Og. Stay away from them, you bitch! <laughs> then, oh shit! You, you see his skin begin to ripple, and he begins to grow a little. Oh! And in oh, the next few oh, seconds, Og is no longer there, and in its place is a Brontosaurus. What? Okay. What? Now we're now we're getting into Song of the Wild's fan fiction territory. <laughs> <laughs> All of you see this t <laughs> By the way, this is not a surprise for me. This was pre-planned for this arc. Of course it was. <laughs> but yeah, David, David and I had a pre-discussion about this. Um, all of you see this tiny, this tiny ass little Yoda creature turn into a giant reptilian-like creature. And you realize... This is wild shape. Oh shit. And it's when you all collectively realize in your heads this guy's a druid. And that's where we end tonight's campaign. Ooh. Alrighty. Fuck! That's intriguing! Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so this was definitely one of more, one of the more crazy episodes. <laughs> and I kind of more or less despise you all a little bit more. <laughs> we love you. Do you? I do. Okay. I do. I mean, yeah. Thank you, babe. Sure. All right. David, I, will I don't, cut I don't you. get a thank you. What? what? You're going to cut me? Yeah. Why? And I'm going to cut you too, Jordan. He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I said I loved him. I love Evan. I love I he know. puts up with all my crap. <laughs> well, because it's like we, you and I have like the same sense of humor on a lot of things. Oh, yeah. So it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. Eat it, Adorak. Show your damn faces. We miss you too. No. They're both I naked. Got both you know, yeah, Jordan internet kind of poop. But I laugh at that statement of David and I have the same sense of fucking humor. Yeah, Pretty bad. Yeah, but you're more of my chaotic side. Yes. Okay, guys, 
thank you so much for joining this session. We will see you all two weeks from now. Because next week will be Great Poison, where we will officially be restarting our alternative play styles here. Or play campaigns. <laughs> and plus, yay, Christmas is next week. Christmas! Joy. Yeah. All right. Guys, we will see you all later. Thank you so much for sticking with us. You have a good day. Yep. Bye. Take care. Bye, friends.